Okie dokie, in this video, I'm going to be making a simple API endpoint um, with Versal, Versal serverless functions. Versal? Versal. So while we're doing that, I've done this previously with um, this blog name generator, which is like a Gatsby City site um, submission. Um, I'm not holding my breath to win it, um, but um, this sort of coming up with a random name for your blog came up uh, from a discussion with a couple of friends of mine and um, I put this together as um, as one thing which is like three big arrays here adjectives verbs and nouns and um, lots of different sort of meanings for the word blog and then put all that together and all of this was in the actual project but then I decided I wanted to use <clears throat> um, sorry here um, I decided I want to use the the blog name generator somewhere else as well so rather than copy all of this into that project as well I'm just duplicating the same thing I moved all this out into its own serverless function which is what we're looking at here this random blog name and then this is in um, a, a, an API endpoint on, on Vercel so if I hit refresh here I get a different blog name each time so for that um, it it was in like I said it's basically in one place and I can use it in two different um, two different other places which is what I want to do and I want to do something similar with um, this password character picker project so in here I've got just like you can create a, like a fun password which if you look at the code for this characters from password the, it, where are we we're in like a U2 or something uh, source helpers uh, yep so this pretty much looks identical to this um, so for the purposes of this video I'm going to move this wherever it's gone this yep off to its own serverless function so to, so to do that I'm going to need Vercel I'm going to make a new project so I'm going to make a directory mcdur random password generator and then I'm going to change into this. For some reason, my editor's not picking up the new folder once I create it. So there we go. And um, I'm going to want to yarn add as a dev dependency Vercel. Um, and then this will create the package JSON file um, as well. But I also want to do yarn in it dash y. Open up the code explorer here. A slip of coffee. Hang on. Hmm. Yummy. Right. So, so here, um, because it's going to be deployed on GitHub, I'm going to need to create a um, not that a um, dot git ignore file, and then add in some. Uh, so, if it's an echo, I've done this a load of times before with previous projects. So, um, project dependencies. I don't think I'm going to need any of that for this. Just node modules. I think we really want to ignore. Anyway, moving on, let's go to the package JSON file here. Let's make this a bit bigger. And I'm going to want to put in, so I'll have my scripts under the rest of the project information. I'm going to want scripts. And I'm going to want to have. Um, <clears throat> oh, why is that showing? All oh, right, okay, so let's get rid of that. I want to have a start script. And I also want to have uh, a deploy. Um, deploy scripts um, and that's going to be Vercel dev and then <clears throat> this deploy one is going to be Vercel uh, deploy dash dash prod 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 save that cool so uh, ready to get started now so if we go back to the documentation um, so yeah, if you want to download the CLI globally, then npm or, or yarn, yarn install it. I prefer yarn, so I've got it installed globally via yarn. Um, so we're looking at serverless functions. We want to put um, that into a forward slash API folder. So <clears throat> let's do that here. Create a new file, new file, and it's going to be API. Uh, and we're going to have it just in the index. Uh, and I'm going to use type script. And then we're going to do the um, 
the hello world. So it's import um, now request and now response from um, SL uh, node. <clears throat> now request and now response. And <clears throat> excuse me, clear my throat like that. It's horrible. Export can't. Oh, default, sorry. I'm going to have the request and response. And the request is going to be st stubbed out, but I think it needs that signature to use it. And it's going to be this is going to be now request. And the response is going to be now response. So now. Um, was Vercel, but Vercel is now Vercel. It used to be called now. Um, so I'm guessing it. Can we use like Vercel now? I don't know. This is what's in the documentation, so I'm just going to go with this. And we're going to need a fat arrow and that. And we just want to return um, <clears throat> the uh, response.json with the message. Hello world. Hello. Hello. Yes, Steve. Excuse me. God, sorry. Right. So, save that. And we'll do now dev. Yarn dev. We're going to call our script here. Which is yarn star, not yarn dev. Yarn start, do I have it here? Yarn start, here we go. Um, and because this hasn't been set up on Verso yet, it's going to ask me to deploy it there. So I'm just going to pick all the defaults. And now I can go to localhost 3000. Okay, go to the API here. Hello world, right. So that's it that is our endpoint which once i get it up to verso i'm going to use in my app but um i'm going to need to call so i'm going to create a file here uh source um random password and it's got a ts file as well and it's going to check that bit of information wherever it is so this copy file so I'm not sure if this comes with the um, extension refined GitHub or not. But if you're wondering where those buttons come from, I think it's from there. Uh, anyway, moving on. Let's put all of that in here. I'm going to rename that rando to, to random. Wherever that is, here it is. Uh, hit F2. Put that random. Uh, I'm not using Axios or um, getting anything from an endpoint now. And I'm going to export. Get the password and then in the index.ts file here and um, this is going to now be um password let's say and it's going to be uh what's it called random source get fun password cool so if i hit save on that and go back to my local host over here hit refresh Cool, so now we've got the um, password each time for this. Cool, 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 cool. So, <clears throat> I can now deploy that to um, Purcell. So, um, <clears throat> see the bit where it went through here? It's sort of initializing it. Um, so if we go to my dashboard, you see that it's created here, random password generator. Um, over here. <clears throat> Nothing's been deployed yet. So I'm going to go into my uh, terminal here and do yarn deploy. And that said, it's the, the prod flag on the Vercel CLI. And then you see it starts building it here. So now I can start using this endpoint once it's built. Um, it shouldn't take long. Um, no longer than 10 seconds, I'd say. Um, 12 seconds. Oh man. Right. Um, so random password generator. And I've got 
my endpoint here, random password generated 10 Vercel app. Uh, and if I go to the API, cool. So that is it for that part. Time to put that into, <clears throat> into a project. So uh, let's just go to Code Sandbox and open up um, a React box. I would try and put it into this project, but it's been so long, <clears throat> excuse me, it's been so long since I've touched it, nine months there. I, I don't want you to watch me sort of fumble my way through trying to work out where things go. So I'm just going to add this to a, like a sandbox project and use the same, what do we do here? Use Axios um, and then put into state the, the endpoint. Let's just do that. Um, so if it's going to load. Code sandbox, while you do this. Hello. Right, so let's just do this in a new file. Paste, paste that? No. Take the whole thing, Scott. Uh, copy file. Put it in here. And then uh, I need to import Axios. Yes, here it is. And uh, I'm not going to do thin UI. Please get rid of that. Um, and that's uh, our password. And refer to this as quickly as I can. So I'm using grid. This is going to be a div. And it's going to close with a div. And I'm with a cursor. Div, div. Um, it's going to get rid of that and that. Um, and it'll be uh, H1. That's what it says. Which one? Um, it's going to be H2. H2. And this is going to be a button. Um, this is the end of it. Button. Try to do this as quickly as possible, and this is going to be get blog name, but this is going to be not name, it's going to be password. <clears throat> and then obviously that is going to be random password generator. So yep. there again, yep. Like that in there. Hit save. So now um, I want to import what have I called it here? Home into here which auto imports brilliant and save that and say get name but nothing's happening after I've clicked the button no I don't want to save um, I go to the console here um, you can see I get a network error so this is cause um, cross origin resource scripting um, and because that's not in effect on here on the endpoint that's why I can't grab it from here so it's a security thing but um, of course uh, Verso have got us covered and let's set the headers in here so I'm just going to do this for um, allow credentials true and then have this as all um, obviously if you're doing something a bit more sensitive than just some random letters and stuff then um, I'll check out all the documentation you need to know on that but for me in this use case here this is going to be fine. So in my endpoint here, copy pasta for the win. Um, that needs to be a string. Yep. Let's put that in some back ticks. Let's save here. And um, how are we looking? I think it looks fine. Let's save. And then publish this again. So go on deploy. And then that should go up to my dashboard. Bum, 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 wherever that is. Here it is, let's build him. Let's get a slurp of coffee down. Um, it's just taking a while to build. Oh, it's done, right, cool. 
So now this should have a uh, cause in it. So if we just go visit here without going to the API. I um, know, oh I can't. Anyway, still did its thing. Close that, close that. And close that, it's not up anymore. So this should now hit refresh here maybe. It should give us, yay, our random password from there. So there you have it. So I've just gone from um, nothing to making a simple endpoint, which I can hit with um, a React application or anything else for that matter, that will uh, hit an endpoint using Vercel serverless functions. Um, I did it all in under 20 minutes, I think. Um, so yeah, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.